this is a new IGTV for a design nail art with a foil. So how I how we can transfer a foil on a design with shellac. Come and see. So today I will show you how you can do a foil with CND shellac. I will use black pool, but I so I really like when I use um, the white too. So I will put my shellac here and I will use my brush, my two and one brush like the fuchsia and the, with my detailed brush and I will draw some nail art. The, it's perfect to use shellac to do the transfer um, paper because if you use some other brand it's going to be difficult to transfer it correctly and um, also uh, perfectly clean. This is filigree and it's really tendance in December for Christmas. There we go. I paint like so. After I finish my drawing, I put in on a lamp for a full curing one minute in the LED. I will clean my brush, clean my sample, and I will show you the um, the foil. So. What the foil is, I sell, I sell a lot of foil and the foil you can also, you have different color, different texture, different shadow, different design. And um, so, and don't, don't, uh, you can also use like two different and one nails. It's going to be nice too. So today I will take this one and I cut it here and I will plus place the order in the bags to don't break them there we go after that what I want to use it's some a little bit of alcohol to just clean the surface that I will transfer just to make sure that the transfer will be done correctly and nicely so after curing i use that and i i will apply here and i will press everywhere to make sure every design that i make transfer on a paper. It's normal if they don't do everywhere. And after that, I will remove faster. And as you see, they forget some place. So I come back with my paper and I try to make some, and I can use another one too, because what I don't want it's to don't have a great line because you will have some gel here on a paper and it will be easy to transfer at the, not my great lines. So it's why I will use another fresh paper and press 
gently and use another press gently and press gently and here we go I have my design so also what I love it's to like this one use some white and tinted another detail so I will have some different texture and different highlights Look how I can make my line really, really, really thin. So it's important to shake well your bottle of shellac to have more opaque color and also to have a good, a good really good consistency to paint. As you see, I don't really push down my brush. I use just, just, just my point to give, to um, depose the color on my nails. Here we go. And when it's finished, just curl again. I will show you another nails technique and I will like full cover of the Ford. So I can use my shellac everywhere. Not really full full, but almost full. Small coat go curing for one minute cut the piece of your color clean the other side just to make sure Normally they can depend, normally they can work, but if they don't, try this. So as you see, it's my final design. I will use a matte top coat to go on a nails. And I will use, I'm a matte from Lacket, just to show you how they can be really pretty when you use it a matte top coat on a foil and it's finished I came with here I press down and I press gently everywhere you feel it that it's sticky everywhere and take it off you have a beautiful design here and I will put a matte top coat on that too there you go and I will show you the design complete design 
I hope you enjoy this video and I hope it will give you the creativity you need to make some beautiful nail art with the transfer pepper and the shellac. Bisous bisous. See you soon my friends.